my god, decent audio. I don't know why I decided to try and use my old microphone when this headset has already proven. Apple software update has already proven to be much more reliable and consistent. I don't know. I just wanted to give it a shot. I'm sorry the last two episodes had kind of audio, but we weren't racing anybody interesting or doing anything cool. So hopefully now things will be fine. Java update available. I'm kind of scared to open the game now because a random thing might pop up and be annoying. But no, we're, we're not going to wait for that. We're going to open the game and we're going to get started with taking down blacklist number 13. No, I'm not having a stroke. <laughs> oh, we have to do the settings again. Because last time I did oops shit. I did a another grind and now we have about fifty thousand dollars. I think it's like fifty-one thousand. Which is good. Saves us a little bit of time in case we want to get another car. I mean, we do want another car, but we want we want Vic's car. Speaking of which, I need to quickly go back to the last recording and see what marker was uh, the pink slip for the last car. All right, we're going, I think it's the third one. Okay, yep, game footage. All right. Uh. Oh, shit, I skipped it. Okay, it was the third one. We're going to keep that open. All right, into the career we go. There's our gold Lexus. How is she looking? How is she doing? She's looking pretty good. How do I open the camera without accidentally selling the car? Probably pressing three. Oh, yeah. She's not the best looking car in the world, but she's, she's pretty good. She's pretty good. All right, so let's head to the challenges that we have to complete. We're going to do races for... Blah. We're going to do races first, and then we're going to do the milestones. So what have we got? We've got seven races. Ooh, we've got a toll booth as well. So we've got one maximum probability there. Only one maximum probability. So this sprint race will be the last race we do. Let's start with the speed trap races. No tutorial. Oh, there we go. All right, Raj. Speed trap racing is all about showcasing your ride's top end. The map will show you where the photo radar stations are located. You gotta rip through the traps as fast as you can. The highest overall speed through all the traps wins. Don't fall behind or you lose points once the first racer crosses the line. Sounds good. I like this kind of race. It can be really annoying sometimes, but I really like it. I kind of like the look of the car as well. I like a lot of things, apparently. Alright, here we go. All right. Oh, I'm only kind of pulling. All right, now we want to save nitrous. Saving, 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 saving. Boost! I'm only ahead by a couple miles on miles per hour. Shortcut. No one else used the shortcut. We'll see if that actually helps in this. Oh, God. Ah. Uh. Oh. Too many downshifts. Oh. Boost. There's another Lexus. Oh, he gave me a nudge. Whoa. I don't know if that was me or him. 137. Was that any good? Oh, I'm in third. Shiza. Man, this is, um, this is not going to be an easy one. Oh, and by the way, um, sorry again for the last two episodes not having good audio, but now it should be good from now on. I'm not going to try and experiment with a series as cool as this. We're just going to try and Give it our best and guarantee use stuff that's guaranteed to work well. Man, mango, bitch. Arrgh. I don't think I'm gonna win. Oh, he was so far behind that I won anyways. Sweet, twenty-five hundred dollars. 
Oh, hello? It's Raj. Hey, I got some news about those pursuit milestones. Apparently, these things are thrown out there by blacklist racers. They're challenges to anyone who thinks they got what it takes to beat their records. If you want to get your name out there, this is the way to do it. The more pursuit milestones you beat, the more notorious you become on the blacklist. Thanks, man. Oh, man. All right, we're doing good. We're doing good. So now we want to do another speed trap. Oh, I love playing this game. I love this game. This, this is probably my favorite racing game of all time from my childhood. Mainly because it introduced my favorite car of all time, the M3 GTR. I've talked about how I want to build an homage of it in real life with an E92 V8 in it and all sorts of other stuff. Um, and it's going to happen. No matter what, I don't care if I have to sell organs for it. You're going to see that content on the channel, I guarantee it. So if you want to subscribe for content that's going to happen in a year from now, <laughs> go right ahead, because it's going to happen. All right. I've actually got three... Let's go with three. I have, like, a holy trinity. Everyone's got, like, a few cars that they absolutely love, especially car guys. It's very hard to find a car that you can pick above all others. You can't. It's really hard to have one number one car. Unless if you're me. In which case it's the M3 GTR. So maybe I just contradicted myself like instantly with myself as an example. So. But um, my holy trinity, which is my top three cars of all time. Um, it's the BMW M3 GTR. The Nissan Skyline GTR R34 M Spec Nur. Another GTR. And the McLaren P1 GTR. All of my top three cars are GTRs. But they're all just such good cars. The the M3 GTR being the first V8. M3. Oh, it's so good. And it's naturally aspirated and all sorts of other good things. With the flat plane crankshaft. Um, and straight cut trans... Don't know why I'm sliding. Straight cut transmission. We've got the R34 R34 GTR. What are you doing? Brake checking me, you piece of crap. Um, and then there's the McLaren P1 GTR, which appeals to basically everybody. And it's the only supercar I actually like. You know? Like, for me, until I found the McLaren P1, there wasn't a single supercar that I actually liked all that much. I could appreciate supercars, but I would have chosen so many other cars over several supercars if I had an infinite budget. And you know, you know, when people say, if you had an infinite budget, which car would you pick? And everyone goes, Bugatti Veyron, so I can sell it. Well, let's say you can't sell the car. You're getting a car that you want to keep. You know? Stop. You're, this isn't a genie lamp where you ask for more wishes. <laughs> it's Vic! Yeah, it's Vic here. Keep your mouth shut and listen up. It don't matter to me what you got going on with the other guys. You just make sure you stay out of my way. These are my streets, you got that? Mm -hmm. You just bow out when you're told and everything will be cool. I mean, now, you can ask my girlfriend. I'm not the best at listening. I'm going to have ADD. Uh, you may have to repeat yourself. So, you know, it might seem like I'm not listening. But uh, you're going to find that I'm going to behave like I have no idea what you just said. <laughs> I'm probably going to forget he sent me that message. Um, okay, what have we got next? We've got a couple tools. Yeah, let's dole. We've got, dole. We've got a speech impediment. Let's do some toll booths. Alright. Alright, here we go. I like holding the RPMs for the perfect, la perfect launch instead of just like redlining and then dropping at like two seconds left or something because I want to make it seem like this car is launch control in a way like proper launch control not Cobb access port launch control which is still very cool but like M3 M4 or Nissan GTR launch control that sort of thing or it just holds the RPM at a certain area and just builds up boost and you just launch perfectly every single time and this is something I think about a lot when I'm uh, playing this game, you know, transmissions. Because um, I always wonder, like, what versions of the car, of bleh, what versions of the real life cars were the cars in the game based off of? Because a lot of the cars in this game might have had 
paddle shifters because it's 2005, so there were a few paddle shifter cars out there by then. Um, the M3 GTR actually had just a six-speed manual. Um, at least the 2001 M3 GTR did. Um, at certain points, it might have had a sequential, but I don't think so. It's, I think it was mostly uh, a six-speed manual with straight-cut gears. Um, but, you know, when you get later in the game, when you're doing downshifts, uh, it rev matches like a sequential or a paddle shifter. Um, you know, it does it faster. It doesn't take as long. It doesn't go... It goes... Like a, like a bike engine where the, it just revs up super fast. So I don't know. Like, I've always been kind of on the fence about which transmission I like more. Because I can appreciate all types. So I, I can appreciate an automatic automatic, like a drag automatic, where you just go. I can appreciate a transmission like that you would find in like a Nissan GTR or a Porsche 911. Um, I don't have a sixth gear. Where um, it's just paddle shifters with launch control and you can shift if you use the paddles and it's still pretty cool. And I can also appreciate having fun with three pedals in a clutch manual. But it's hard to figure out what I prefer, you know? Because it kind of depends on what you're using the car for. Now, a lot of guys out there are going to be like, well, I mean, if you're a good driver, you can use a clutch manual for everything. And that's probably true for the most part. Um, if you're really good, most of the people saying that aren't. Um, I personally think sequentials are really cool. I'm like Hollinger transmissions, which are like twenty or thirty thousand dollars, but I still really like them. Um, paddle shifters are cool, you know. Racing paddle shifters with straight put, straight cut gears are also very cool, like the sort of things you'd find in the 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 BMW Z4 GT3, one of the coolest cars of all time. Just look up downshift videos. Um, just look up videos of that car downshifting. It's one of the coolest sounds of the world. I mean, I, I would get a paddle shifter transmission just for that. And, and to be honest, I might. I might try and get a transmission like that and tune a car like that. And to be honest, that car might end up being the, the M3 GTR homage car I want to build. Obviously, that's a crazy expensive transmission. But luckily, the nice thing about project cars is you don't have to spend all the money you're going to spend all at once. So it's a lot cheaper than, like, say, buying a supercar or anything like that. In the end, you all have spent maybe like sixty, seventy thousand dollars on the car, but um, it'll have been over time, so you won't be murdered by loan sharks. <laughs> but yeah, I don't know if because the the original M3 GTR had a six-speed manual. I don't know if I want to put um, a sequential in it, a clutch manual, or paddle shifters. I don't know yet, because it kind of also kind of determines what what kind of M3 E46 I would buy. Um, a paddle shifter one or a six-speed manual? At least I think that kind of... I feel like that decision would determine what car I have to get, just so that it's kind of easier to mod that platform. I have lots of time to think about it, though. I like that I'm just kind of talking to you guys casually whilst I'm going like 140 plus miles an hour completing these race events. But just like a lot of other car guys in the U.S., especially, you know, or just anywhere, I suppose, um, I have more than one dream car, as I've already said. Oh, hello. Hey, you're really holding it down out there. I can't believe how deep this thing goes. I can't wait to see what the setup is in Camden Beach. I heard the odds might be better. We'll see. Keep smoking these guys out. Razor's out there. It's just a matter of time. I'll see ya. Okay. Another time. Okay, what's next? We've got a lap knockout. So yeah, um, other dream cars. Of course, there's the McLaren P1 GTR. You don't really need to modify that at all. I might repaint it if I ever had one, which isn't very likely. Um, I'll just make it purple. 
Um, but then there's the R34 GTR, which of course I'm going to modify. I might even... I've considered going with like an RB30 swap. I thought that might be kind of cool. Because you can have... Um, of course with an RB26, you know, you build the molder... The molder? The motor, you can get a thousand wheel horsepower. But with an RB30, it's a lot easier to get that, and then you can go beyond that. But of course, I like, I'd like the R34 to be a, a street car, because I feel like a clutch manual in an R34 GTR makes the most sense. Um, in which case, I want it to also be relatively drivable while also still being really fast and really cool. So 1,000 horsepower or 900 horsepower RB30 could make sense. It'd be expensive, but it would make sense. And you can always have it be built by Rips Racing. That gives you a huge amount of guarantee and build quality. Ooh, shiza. I mean, I've already described what I would do with an R34 um, in previous videos where I, I, I said I would like. I would put the Sea West, bo sea West body kit on, uh, 282 degree camshafts. Um, I would probably respray it into Midnight Purple 2 or Midnight Purple 3. Probably 3. And um, put green lights on it or something. Put SSR wheels on it. Forgot to shift. Um, maybe HKS exhaust with a mines front pipe. I don't know. It's so, it's so far into the future. That one especially. Because they're not going to be legal in the US for another 4 years. Um, so I have lo a lot of time to save up for one as well. But, uh, yeah. And the McLaren P1 GTR is ridiculously unlikely. So I doubt that's ever going to happen. But I was thinking about other cars kind of lately. What other cars that would be cool to build? And I thought, well, a lot of these cars I'm going to have built by other people. Because I want... Because these are my favorite cars of all time. You know, I want them to be guaranteed to be as well built as possible. So I want to have the best people work on them. Yes, that'll be expensive. And I know I, it'll be built, not bought. But... I want the best of the best for my my dream babies. So, but what car would I want to work on as a project car where I'm working on a lot of the parts? You know. Um, so I thought, what about a 2J swap? I know a lot of people do. I know a lot of people do 2J swaps, but I've always thought a 2J swapped RX-7 would be badass as hell. Um, put like a veil side body kit on it. Not the one from to Tokyo Drift, more like the one on Dom's RX-7 from the first Fast and the Furious. It, so it would, be, it would be pretty riced out, but it would sound so good. A 2J out of an RX-7. For some reason that just makes sense to me. It would be red with some kind of blue vinyl set up. Maybe based off of the vinyls from SRS, who knows, we'll see. Or it could be like blue flames. Blue lights, who knows. Actually, the blue lights would probably be illegal in, like, 80% of the states in this country. Um, but, yeah. 2J swapped RX-7 would be badass as hell. Um, I also thought um, it would be cool to do, like, an engine swap in, like, something like uh, a modern BMW M4. Because I feel like they messed up that car and could have done a lot better with it. It looks nice and it's quick, but I hate the way it sounds. I just hate it, hate it, hate it. So I always thought maybe you could put um, the 4.4 liter twin turbo V8 into it. The P60, not the P63. That's the racing engine. I would say the road going engine would be better. Um, where you put the S63, which is the twin turbo 4.4 liter V8, which makes like 500, 600 horsepower. And put that, in, that into an M4. Maybe put some M4 GTS stuff on it. Or maybe just put a, a Vorsteiner wide body kit on it. That would be a heck of a car. It would sound a lot better, and it would be probably faster. And it would be a much better platform for modding, because I think you can get a, a thousand horsepower out of one of those turn turbo V8s. Though not a lot of people work on them right now. But I really feel like people should, because it, it would be so cool to see people modify that engine. And if people didn't want to take the V8 and put it into the M4, I would say take the, the motor out of the... The three or the four series, the the B58, the the three liter twin scroll turbo, and put that in because it sounds it's a much better inline six than the one in the M3 and the M4. 
Wow, I'm just talking about stuff while I, while I do this. Just This is mega casual. I'm just talking about dream cars. We're almost done with the races, too. I feel like this game was harder in my childhood. But then again, I wasn't that, that good of a racer back then. I'm, a, I'm much better now. Is this a lap knockout too? I didn't really look. It's either that or it's a circuit. Doesn't really matter. As long as you're in first, it makes no difference. Whee! Oh, let's get the tire! Hello and welcome to O'Reilly's. It's the chilies of frickin' auto parts stores. Get out of the way. Minus point ten. Get out of here. I'm not gonna be beat by, beat by a Clio. Absolutely not. Whoa. Oh, that was good. That was good cornering. Spencer has been knocked out. Was Spencer from iCarly? This is Marvin. He's an ostrich. I just bought him. Okay. Ooh, shit. I don't know if that, that was an indestructible object or not. I turned on this, the, the speed breaker because I thought maybe I could like ram the Clio off the road. But I, uh, I miscalculated. Doesn't matter, though. We'll do this corner better, better than everybody else, and it won't, won't matter a bit. Oof. Well. Tree! <laughs> that was close. I still did much better than them. Alright, who's gonna get KO'd? Rusty. Alright. Ooh. Ooh. Shit. I don't know how he did that turn much better than me. In a Mustang. How did he outturn me in a Mustang? Is the IS300 front wheel drive or rear wheel drive? Because I'm pretty sure. I don't think it's all-wheel drive. I don't know. Oh, that's a wall. We're probably fine, though. Have we lost any races yet? I don't think we have. Skadoosh. Let's quickly save, because that's a good amount of progress. Let's look at the rap sheet. We haven't looked at it yet. Let's see how we compare. We probably don't compare very well. Log in his cross. I always thought this was so cool, this cutscene. Retrieving list. Joker. I don't have a last name. I'm just known as Joker. Kind of like Joker from the uh, Nolan trilogy. No identification or trace or anything. Pursuits evaded. I haven't been busted. I have three cars. Why would I even bother insuring or registering the cars? That just seems a bit silly. Like a waste of money. Um, rankings. Helicopters deployed is unranked, and spike strips is unranked because they haven't been used on me yet. What was my pursuit ID? MW5421 joke. <laughs> nice, I like it. We've got a lot of things to beat. Like, for example, pursuit length. We have to go all the way to the top, and Razor's record is the top with 30 minutes, which I can easily do. I've already beaten a lot of other people's stuff. I'm already on 11th. What am I the highest at right now? My highest is... Infractions. I feel like that would be an easy one to get right away. Because infractions are easy to get. Well, that's cool. I, don't, I forgot if I saved, so I'm just going to do it again. Um, and we're going to do that last race, and then we're going to do Pursuits. What are the, what are the milestone challenges again? Challenges again, I can't remember. So we've got um, tag four vehicles. We've got 5,000 bounty. Evade in less than four minutes. And the photo tickets. Okay, we'll do the race event and then we'll do this other stuff. Huh. <clears throat> can't remember what heat level we're at on this car. I think we're. Are we at heat level two yet? I can't remember. No, we're at heat level one. 
That was an interesting launch. Ah, Volkswagen. I don't care if you cheated on your emissions, but you can't cheat in this race. Don't ram me off the road. Dang. Okay, I like this song. It's putting me in a mood. A racing mood. Oh. Yep. Twit. Oh. Wow, this cop showed up quickly. Woo! Did that tire stop anybody? Oh, it stopped the racer! Oh, hello, officer. How, how, how are you doing? Um, I don't have any donuts right now. Um, if you could come back later. I'm not going to use that shortcut. I feel like it wouldn't help. The last time I tried using that shortcut, I had to use Speed Breaker to not hit a wall. All right. Excuse me. Excuse me. Remember to shift. I'm keeping track of a lot of stuff right now. I'm keeping track of cops and racers. I couldn't take down the donut. It was barricaded in. Someone was protecting their donut with Rick and Morty style barricades. Come on. Woo! I feel like the races are already kind of intense, which is really cool. It's it's even though it's pretty slow compared to the end game, it's cool that it's still exciting. I feel good. I just feel good playing this game. Sweet. All right, what do we got? Why is my heat level... Oh, well, that's right. I customized the car, and so it reset my heat level. So... I guess we want to do trade paint for a bit. I don't think we can really do many of the challenges in two minutes. I w I'll try and do all of them in one pursuit, but I don't think it's going to be possible. Um, get off, get off, get off. Arrgh. Oh, Jesus. Oh! He's going off the highway. He's fucked off. He's done. He gives up. Who? Ah! Shiza! Oh, I'm out of there. <laughs> what do you mean I'm onto you? I'm far away from you. You have a unit down. Oh, did you hit the semi or something? How did you spit out? Woo! Traffic! Okay, maybe I can do it in four minutes. I don't know. I need 5,000 bounty, though. Can I do that? Ugh! I don't know if I can. I'm gonna try. Oh! Oh boy. Hey there. Ugh. Well, I've done the trade paint. And we've got two minutes left on the two minute maximum challenge. <laughs> I almost kind of pushed that guy. Bonk! Hello. Good evening. Urgh. I need more people after me. It's kind of annoying doing this in Heat Level 1. Because you don't get that much bounty in Heat Level 1. Hmm. What to... What... What... Why would you purposefully go on the wrong side of the road? What advantage does that give you? Hmm. I should probably just get the heat level 2. I don't think I'm going to be able to do do this in a minute. <laughs> it's, just, it's not physically possible. Shiza. Oh. 
That was your fault, Owen. You killed yourself. Let's just get away. To hell with it. Oh, there's another one. Good evening, sir. Come on. What the heck? You just took out that civilian. How, how could you do such a thing? Oh, there's a racer on the map. Oh, shit. Ah. Alright, here we go. Let's just evade and we'll do... Oh, I was forgetting to shift. Come on, come on, come on. Nice. Sweet. Alright, we did okay. I mean, it wasn't physically possible to do that time challenge and get the bounty as well. So we'll have to do the thing in a separate challenge. Oh, hello. Hey, it's Raj. Here's the deal. The next Blacklist Racer holds the key to Camden Beach. Smoke him, and the next burrow is yours. You got it. I'll see if I can dig something up on him. We'll talk later. All right. Peace. Let me out. Hey, it's me. Hi. Look. I'll be straight. I'm all for helping someone who's been cheated, but I gotta get something out of this deal. You flush out the blacklist, and I'll provide you with safe houses. In return, you turn a blind eye to any side bets I put down on you. It's a perfect deal. You'll see. I don't care. Get that raw guy to help you out. Just don't let him figure out what's going on. Later. Why do you call him Rog? His name is Raj, you stupid woman. But I don't care what kind of bets you put down on me, because I'm making plenty of money. I probably have... Like, what, $70,000 now? I have 80,000 bounty, basically. 69. <laughs> Perfect. Perfect. No, no, no. Don't launch that fucking event. Uh, let's get 5,000 bounty in a single pursuit. So we need to get the heat level 2. Somehow. Hello. Boop. Yes, he called it gold. Whoa, news van! Breaking news! Oh no, I won't make that shit. I won't make that joke again. Soccer mom! Oh no 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 no! Where are the other cops? Oh, excuse me. I'm sorry. I didn't see you there. Yes, I'm continuing. College hospital. Oh, hopes. I hope no one was in that. Garbage bags. <laughs> Ooh, and if anyone's in there, there they've also been just vaporized. Ah, uh, Jabram's lens flare. <laughs> Psych. Oh. Oh yeah. Are you coming? I have a fence on top of me. I'm taunting him. Oh my gosh, just two cops. Oh, hello! Go, 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 go! Oh! He <laughs> just kind of spawned on my face. All right, heat level two. We're back in heat level two. And this is the maximum heat level right now. That's how early on and we're in, in the game we are. Boom! He's gone immediately. Hey, I just killed, like, your superior in, like, an instant. And you're not terrified? Hello! Boom! <laughs> oh, here's the smoke from one of the last races. Oh, I can't go there. That's Rockport. You coming? Are you coming? Are you, let's let's go for a little ride through this area. Oh shit! Oh whoops! I'm sorry. I didn't mean to get away so perfectly. Woo! Well, there's a roadblock in a forbidden area. 
That roadblock would have been really useless. <laughs> Why is there a green on top of my uh, officer? You're. I can't reach you from here. Oh wait, no, you're not in there. You're over. You're over there. I thought you were through there. What are you doing? Oh, he's running away. He's doing one of those things. Have, have I scared you? Did I, like, threaten you at some point? Or are you just terrified of me? Did I do the milestone? Oh, I think I did, so it doesn't it doesn't really matter. I, I also think I completed all of the challenges that I needed to complete. So it doesn't really matter. Um, but I wanted 100% this anyways. Oh, hello! Oh! Oh, come on, flip over! Yeah, you're dead. No, you're not. You're dead. Your face is now unrecognizable. Your wife, whom probably doesn't exist, because you're a, a lonely bastard. Um, you're kind of banged up. You're 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 dead. Your bones have been scattered across the the street. I almost said track. Ooh. Oh, shiza. There we go. We did it that time. Bounty 5,000 granted us an extra 11,000. All right. That's decent. It's decent. And now we're in heat level 2. Thank God. But now we can save. And we can go up against Vic. Vic. I feel like this has been extra... E oh, we need 100,000 bounty. Oh. Oh, we can do the... Speed cameras. I forgot about these. Excuse me. What do you want? It's Mia. I got some inside info on the cops that might help you out. You can lose the cops by ducking out in hiding spots. You just gotta make sure you're out of their line of sight. They're scattered throughout the world. Cruise around and scout them out. Later. Stop saying later. It's weird. Oh, this is... I don't know how to launch this car in free roam. I don't know if it's possible. Come on, come on. I don't know how fast I have to go. I mean, this is probably going to be fast enough. Yeah. I don't know what the requirement was. I, or I forgot. <laughs> oh. All right, fix up. He's the meathead I was telling you about. Meathead. Razor's knock-around guy. He's calling you out. Run him off the blacklist. That should send a message to Razor and his crew. I'll watch your back till you get this done. Cheers, man. I like Raj. He's actually a pretty cool character. Like a companion that has your back. Not yet, not yet, not yet. Uh, we want to do one more. Because I, I want to show him I am better than him 100%. Oh, I have no nitrous. <laughs> and I didn't shift. I might be faster anyways, because my car is just probably better than his. Yeah. Easy peasy. I I feel like it'd be really cool to do an Iron Man challenge of this game, where you're not allowed to install, like, modified parts on your cars. The only exception is if you get a blacklist car. That's the only time you'll ever get to have nitrous. I think that would be really fun. Like as a live stream or something. An Iron Man challenge of Need for Speed Most Wanted 2005. No modifications at all. Not even visual. So you, you'll just finish the, the game with like a crap ton of money. I feel like that would be so cool. That, that's a really cool series idea that I can do like a while from now. Because I want to do other things after I complete this. But now I've done, I've done it all done everything so I'm gonna save okay I've done I've done everything I've done everything you could ever ask me to do I just I overkilled all of your records you're worthless you're a piece of crap I'm going to quickly check because I forgot um, it was the third one I'll probably check again anyways <laughs> okay let's challenge I accidentally hit the mic I'm sorry challenge rival See a cop over there. Oh, there's another one. Oh, he's 
coming. They're getting donuts at Diggies. Why is the freaking camera so shaky? Now the physics of this slide makes no sense to me. It's cool looking, but it makes no sense. Alright, and the cops are gone as well. Here we go. Oh, that was such a good launch. Oh, but he's in a Supra, so it doesn't really... It only helps a little bit. Whoop. Come on, come on. No. Uh, where is he? He's right behind me. Oh, he hit the wall. I heard him do that. I'm gonna take your car, boy! You're the only- your car is gonna be the only blacklist car I keep, most likely. Oh, you're going down, mofo! You're going down, boy! 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 <laughs> Ooh! Arr. Oh, he messed up in that section! Ooh, sliding, sliding, stop, stop, stop. Yes! Oh, this is going great! Oh, this is going perfectly. You ain't got nothing on me, Vic. I beat all your records like a hundred times over, and I'm gonna beat you a hundred times. What is happening? I was not paying attention. I have to body block him. Oh, no, he, he bounced around. Why don't you hit the minivan? No, you didn't, you, you didn't, didn't do it. Oh, he didn't take the shortcut like me. If he had, he would have, he would have kept up with me. Although it doesn't seem to matter. I think he's rubber banding just a little bit. Oh, come on. Come on. Come on. Come on, come on, come on. I don't have a sixth gear, but I'm pretty sure he does. Oh, there's no shortcut. We both have to go this way. Go, go, go. Oh, man. Whoa. Shit. No, no, no. Get out of here. I'm staying ahead of you this whole time. I'm not losing a race to you. I'm just going to take your car all in one try. Oh crap. Oh. We're at we're at 90 plus percent. Oh, we got this. We got this. He messed up. He jerked around. Boom. You ain't got nothing on me, Vic. <clears throat> All right, Heritage and Campus. It's a 2 minute track. Here we go. Why did why did we go all the way back here to start another race? Why didn't we just start from this is where we just were. Urgh. Man, he's, he's, he's quick. He's quick. <laughs> no. Okay, I did pretty good with that corner. Let's tire him up. Didn't do a thing. It's fine. Ooh. Okay. We're good. Pizza Hut. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Ooh. Oh, that was flawless. Oh, he can't. I'm just a, a much better driver than him. Oh, this is satisfying. Oh, shit. Arr! Oh, we're going to take his car. We're going to take his car. If we don't, I'm going to cry. Because I'm going to save scum this shit. In fact, I didn't back it up, so give me one second. 
Uh, add to Joker. Oh, shiza. I didn't mean to do that. Add to archive. Before 13 race. Okay. Just in case. All right. Vic, I'm getting your car no matter what. Oh, shit. It would be really cool if I could get it on the first try. No. Get out of here. Pizza Hut. <laughs> he tried to nudge me to get me out of the way, but he couldn't do it. He failed. Oh, crap. Oh! Oh! No! No! <laughs> Let me breathe for a second. I feel like I'm going to pass out. Oh, that's a cool picture. Oh, that's the, the coolest finishing picture I've ever fucking seen. Yes. Okay. Sets go up, bitches. You're down, boy. Down for the count. Okay. Now... Last time, the car was this one. So I'm going to get the performance part first. What do we get? We got transmission. Okay. And now we want to do this one. Fuck. I done fucked it up. I have to save scum this shit. Uh, we have to do that again. I'm sorry, guys. We have to do it again. <laughs> so it's the middle one this time, huh? Okay, fine. I just won't commentate unless if something interesting happens. But here we go, Vic take two. Hold on. Let's just go back and admire the M3 GTR. Oh, it's not there anymore. So everything seems to be saved where I was. Good, we can do this as many times as we need to. Skip. Can I just skip this? Skip. Oh, I I thought this, these, were, these cutscenes were skippable. I guess not. Yes, 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 yes. I'm a better driver than you. Don't even bother showing off. I feel like I'm driving even better now. I guess that's what happens when you do the same race over and over again. Now that was cool. I am so far ahead. He's over a thousand feet behind me. It's almost a quarter mile. I was distracted though. And he's gonna rubber band as well. Oh, he used a shortcut that time. He's no longer a quarter mile away. I don't have a sixth gear, it's really weird. Ah! Heavy foot driving. Bitch, you ain't. No! Fuck! I have to restart the damn race. I was doing really good, too. Ah! Alright, come on. I just want your car, man. I've already beaten you once. I'll, I'm gonna do it again. I'm like Obi-Wan Kenobi against Darth Maul. Ha! He had to avoid killing the soccer mom. Personally, I would have just killed her. Oh, there's a blimp! I think that's probably probably a Burger King blimp. Whoa! Did a wheelie there. Here we go. Uh, he's over a quarter mile away at 1,800 feet. Go! Uh, I learned the 1,320 feet from uh, 1,320video.com. Probably could have looked it up, but I wouldn't have had any reason to. That would just been like, quarter mile is a quarter mile. But now I know that... Be uh, 1320video.com gets its name from the fact that 1,320 feet is a quarter mile in feet. Which is a neat little fact. Oh, shit. Messed up pretty bad there. Oh, he's catching up to me again. No. Bitch. You ain't getting your car. You ain't keeping it. It's mine. And you ain't getting my car either. 
Your car is a little bit nicer, though, so I don't know. I don't know, I don't know why you would care about getting my car. Oh, that wasn't a good turn. He didn't do much better. Let's give him a tire. The tire never works. Oh! Minivan. Oh, yeah, I blocked him. Whoa, news van. Breaking news a gold blur just went by. We think it might have been aliens. <laughs> No. Oh, that's a tree. No. 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 You bitch. <laughs> How did you pass me? Where did you get that speed from? Did you install another turbo in the middle of- I fucked up the launch. Nope, I'm doing that again. <laughs> installed another turbo mid-race. Damn it. Spending more time on this than I should. Soccer mom, take him out. Soccer mom's attack. Probably shouldn't give myself this much of a lead to begin with because that just activates his rubber banding powers. I really shouldn't be having that much trouble with him though. He's only number 13. On the blacklist. I mean, people made a big deal about Razor being number 15 on the blacklist. Got a lot of rep to earn before you run with him. And yet... Oh, he didn't take the fucking shortcut. What a... What an idiot. You forfeited your car by doing that. Actually, you forfeited your car by racing me, to be honest. Because I have the power to turn back time. <laughs> oh, man. Sweet. All right, Vic, give me your fucking car. Performance upgrade, still transmission. You're the middle one. Yes, we got the Supra. We did it. Camden Beach Burrow has now been unlocked. Oh, now we've got Izzy. Izzy, Isabel Diaz or Diaz. Whatever the fuck you want to call yourself. You're going down. Izzy is definitely a chick you don't want to mess with. She knows everything there is about cars, on and off the road. She's got her ride wired tight. Like her vagina. Oh, that was sexist, I'm sorry. But I couldn't help myself. She comes from a long line of race fanatics. Yes, that's right. She has a lineage. And it... Oh boy, how, how have the great have fallen... I messed up that saying entirely. Everybody she runs with is either a cousin, friend, or uncle. And she sleeps with all of them. <laughs> they all stick close, so don't get on her bad side. Um, I'm pretty sure beating her in a race will get me on her bad side. But whatever. Alright. And she's got I Am Rock. Probably my favorite song from this game. That and fired up. So good. Just so good. Hey, it's me. I heard you got into Camden Beach. Good work. Looks like that rock guy is pulling his weight. I hooked you up with another safe house closer to the coast. It saves you from having to drive back to Rosewood. Long way to go if the cops are on your tail. Stay alert. You don't want to get caught off guard. Later. Yes! We did it! We got Vic Supra. We did it, we did it, we did it. And that's going to be our main car for a little bit. We'll alternate. So here's the thing. I, here's the way I'm going to do this Let's Play. Um, I'm never going to stick with one car for the entire playthrough. I'm going to be alternating from car to car throughout the entire Let's Play. So, um, you'll see the Lexus again. In fact, I'm going to modify it. I'm going to 
I'm gonna sell this loser's car for 13 grand, and I'm gonna sell the Golf GTI for 17 for more money. There we go. Now we've got only the Lexus and the Supra. And how much money have we got? We've got over a hundred grand. We've got almost the exact same amount amount of bounty as we do cash. That's ridiculous. All right, save. Um, let's quickly let's go to the mod shop and we'll modify the Lexus. We'll give it a better body kit, and then we'll modify the Supra, and make the Supra our. Uh, oh shit. We'll make the Supra our default car. Come on. All right, here we go. So what have we got for performance? Nope. How about transmission? Pro transmission. Don't mind if I do. And nothing in suspension. Nitrous? No. How about tires? Nope. Brakes? Oh, wait. No, we do have brakes. I accidentally exited out, though, kind of by reflex. We've got pro brakes. What about turbo? No. But this car is decently quick. Let's also change the body kit to the body kit we wanted to get before. Yeah, this is the body kit we want. Because the back is good and the front is, is all right. It's not the best, but it's better. It's acceptable. Sweet. Let's also probably change the wheels. We'll go to ADR. Yeah, I like those much better. Cool. Sweet. Um, should I also change the hood? Maybe. Are there any good carbon hoods? Uh, there's this one. The carbon texture doesn't look very good, though. So we're not gonna we're not gonna we're not gonna mess with that. But now the the Lexus looks much better. So if we ever want to use the Lexus, we'll uh, have some fun with that. And now we're going to head into the Supra. Yes. Oh, shit. I didn't mean to do that. Let's go to the mod shop with the Supra. The Supra sounds weird. Does it have a 2J in it? Or does it have a Subaru engine in it or something? Or like a Porsche engine? That was weird. All right, um, let's change the body kit to this, I think. First one, because that makes more sense. And I feel like we want to make the spoiler the carbon version of Rocker 5. Yeah. And we'll go to BBS wheels. Can we do BBS yet? Oh, yeah, we can. Perfect. Uh, we'll do 18-inch. On the RS GT. Nice. Do we have hoods on here? Oh, we do. I think we should have just a stock hood. Saves us a little bit of money, actually. You don't have a roof scoop on here, do you? Oh, thank God. Okay, that's fine. Let's do the performance. We can upgrade the transmission. Transmission in a Supra, as long as it's at uh, six speed, is usually pretty good transmission. It can take a lot of abuse, as long as you drive it correctly, I guess. If you're grinding gears all over the place, it's probably not going to last as long. But it can, it can handle a lot of power. Alright, how about the turbo? Doesn't have a turbo upgrade on this? Vic, what the heck? Alright, sweet. Now, I feel like we want to make this car green, not purple. I mean, how does it look with the purple I usually go with? Hmm... Can't really see the vinyls as well. Is there a good green in here? No. Uh. Hmm. <laughs> Orange actually looks kind of neat. <laughs> the problem is there's a lot of reflections in the in the shop, which is a little weird. Um. I mean, how does this look? I mean, it's a very bright green. Uh, but we'll give it a try and we'll go outside in just a second. We're going to fix the color of the wheels. Let's make the wheels this color. Actually, no. Let's make have it max match that. Uh, uh, no window tint? Yeah, no window tint. And we're going to do the windshield and we're going to change the, the whatchamacallit, the decals a little bit. 
I heard someone call it decals. I won't say who called it that. Um, and then we want... What do we want back here? We'll do Brembo. Okay. Sweet. Um, we're making this car our own. I feel like this looks really cool. I like it. I like the look of it. We have a green Supra with a lot of reflections coming off of it. Oh my gosh, it's so much faster than the freaking Lexus. Holy, holy crap. That is nuts. And these are both maxed out, but this is just so much quicker. Holy crap. Well, thank you guys so much for watching this episode of Need for Speed Most Wanted 2005. We have a new car. It's a really badass looking Toyota Supra. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a like and a comment letting me know what you liked about it and just your general thoughts. Um, if you liked it so much that you want to know when more comes out, hit the subscribe button and the bell so you can be notified, so you can be dinged in the head. And you can be aware of when new stuff comes out. And uh, yeah, before I start rabbling and doing multiple outros uh, in one video, I am going to sign out of Need for Speed. I am Tom, a.k.a. The Racing Joker. Logging off of Most Wanted. Stay crazy, everybody.